Hey, it's WWM here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over invaders. Uh, what I think is the best uh, skills to get for invaders, the best armor for invaders, and the best way to attack invaders. Uh, which level should you attack? So let's go over the hero skill first. So I reset this just to show you guys what I like to do with this. Obviously, invader and weak, uh, weak and invader. And then uh, I go 10 on this side, the very minimum. I max this out. The hero total offense. And this is what I use for attacking level sixes. And then I match out sustained attack. And I'll show you why. So there we go. Obviously, this is not the most energy saving. The doing the energy depletion is, you know, technically uh, better if you want to do that. But this is the best way to maximize the amount of damage you're going to do. The more damage that you do to an invader, the better gear you're going to get. I know that sounds weird, but you're not going to get a legendary gem the first hit that you do on Invader Six. It's when you have that perfect hit with. Uh, towards the end when your sustained attack is high and when you get a critical that's when you're you're gonna have a increased likelihood to get that um, legendary gem or legendary item that you're looking for I'm getting the the biggest one are the the amulets here the invader and the cool thing about these is they increase your uh, your lumber production as well so this is uh, 13.5% regeneration. It's not the best mod in the game, but it uh, these are great pieces to have for. Right, so we have the the helmet here, and canine again, and this is going to be the canine mask. It's going to give you 15% energy regeneration, which is the highest mod. So the next thing we have here is armor. Now it is canine heavy, but there are barbarians and uh, bears that also do regeneration, and that's the case with this uh, breastplate. So you come down here, both these are the same. You have the bear coat and the barbarian armor. And then down here for boots, we have the, the barbarian boots with the 12 and the, the beast boots. Uh, one of these is bear, the other one is barbarian. So that's it, that's the armor. I'm gonna go over gems really quickly. There's only two types of gems you need to worry about for your invader. Uh, the first one is the, the total uh, energy increase at 250. Obviously you'd want one of these on each one of your invader armor. And the other one is gonna be the regeneration of 3%. So the next thing I'm going to go over is my invader tree and kind of what I was focusing on. So when I did my invader tree, I was primarily going for damage, um, both hero offense one, hero offense two, and then the, the vader decrease uh, defense right here. Uh, I almost have everything when it actually talking about offense, which was what I'm shooting for. The only thing that I'm missing is this last uh, critical hit too which I will knock out here pretty shortly. I'm going to attack an Invader 6. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to show you how I do that. And then I'm also going to do an Invader 5. I, I want everybody to learn from my mistake. I don't think you need to go 6 right off the bat. These troop defense and troop offense are great to have, you know, obviously, but they're incredibly expensive. I probably spent a good two weeks just going over and uh, troop defense 2 and troop offense 2 before I could actually get to an invader 6 and it was pretty brutal and honestly it didn't add anything I, I did get you know the reserve increase but you know they ultimately that doesn't really matter my offense for invaders didn't increase and that's what you want to shoot for when you're going up your tree let's go and and look at some invaders we can kill so we got this guy right here. What I am going to do is throw up my, uh, my buff.
Okay, well, I got uh, nine hours worth. <laughs> All right, uh, and the other thing I like to do is uh, increase my march time. So I, I don't use my 200%, but I will use uh, a 100%, and I usually use two of these because I, I do this for about an hour. Because usually that's what you're activating as. Uh, this time I have nine hours worth. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, if you look at my uh, inbox, I'm going to kind of fast forward through this because this takes a little time. I'm going to show you the first one, show you how much damage I do, and then the last one. Uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the sustained attack and where that plays into this whole thing. All right. So let's do one hit here. And let's take a look here. So I got VIP points. Awesome. I love getting those. Try to get to that level 13. I did do a critical hit here, and I did about 1.33 damage. So with the sustained attack, you see that your next attack bonus is a plus 15%. Um, that's what you want to try to get up, and that's why I went up the sustained attack so high. So right now, I'm just going to fast forward through this part. Okay, so here towards the end, you can see that my damage increased quite a bit. I get a plus 390% damage on my next hit. And this last hit that I did, let's look at this. So I ended up doing 7. This was another critical hit. So 7% towards the end. And I only have a few more hits here. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Another 7% and then this last one's going to kill it. So there we go. So let me bring up the total and show you uh, what we actually got for killing this. Alright, so I added all the numbers up and this is what I came up with. Is that in place? All right, so Invader 6 ended up taking me 28 hits to hit him. I got an email in there for that extra one. Total VI points, uh, 240. Materials was uh, 512. So the way that I did that is I just added up all the rares. Uh, each rare was worth 64 points. Gems, I got lucky on this. There was three legendary gems. Um, it gets to the point where the gems aren't worth anything. You do get a lot of gems when you do this. Um, and then you can just pick and choose which ones you want to do for your armor. Total time that I got was 24. So this was a lot of points, uh, probably more than typical. Usually I only get about one actual legendary when I do this. You can see though that the material, uh, which is why I typically do it, is lacking. Uh, uh, we ended up with one uh, epic, essentially one epic piece. Uh, and you would need four of those. So each legendary piece uh, is going to take, you know, four of these uh, Invader 6 to kill to get one legendary. Sometimes you get really lucky and you get that legendary item, but it doesn't happen very often. Obviously, this is not uh, statistically accurate because I only did one of these runs. So, you know, I would have to do this 10 times. And I'll do that sometimes when I, when Lions comes. Uh, I will sit down and I will do the math on all this and it will give us some more statistical, uh, accurate uh, portrayal of, of Invader 6s. So one thing that I do want to mention is this little hut here. <clears throat> uh, sometimes I, I litter the battlefield with these and uh, I, I don't find them very useful. They end up being a lot of, of cook time. It looks pretty with those legendary at the bottom, but I have never pulled a legendary item off, off of one of these. And I, I have not farmed every single one that I created, uh, but the ones that I have farmed, usually I'm getting, you know, even lower tier stuff, usual, simple. And I'll, I'll show you the time that it takes. So I'll have this guy go here and we can show how long it takes to farm one of these. I don't have any buffs up, so you know this is it's going to be really high, and we're looking at 16 hours. So if you're doing this slowly and you, you know, 
you're going to wait overnight. Uh, with the right gems and the right skill points, you can get this down, you know, halfway. I think I can get it down to about six hours with all the right gear. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Invader 5 right here. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Again, I'm going to I'm going to show you what a first hit looks like. And then I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing. All right. So let's see what we got. 30% did 1.4 on a critical. Or uh, 1 1.94 on a critical. Okay, so fast forward time. Okay, so we're kind of near the end of this. Uh, I got this up to 345 uh, plus attack bonus, and let's just finish this guy off with a couple more hits. One and oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna add up all the numbers on this, see how many hits it took, and uh, do the same number calculation. All right, guys. So this is when I came up with the invader, and it cost him about twenty thousand uh, energy, and I ended up getting a lot of materials with this. Uh, a couple epics kind of added a lot. Again, this is not statistically, you know, accurate. This was only one for one, but it kind of gives you a brief overview of Invader Five versus Invader Six, and uh, you can see that you know not necessarily um, Invader Six is the way to go. Uh, Invader Five uh, definitely held its own, um, and I, you know, kind of learned from my mistake. The, to get Invader Six, you have to go up that troop defense two and offense. To, and I'm telling you, those were some of the highest numbers that I've ever seen in the game. Some of the most cooked times that I've seen in this game. Very expensive to get in that Invader 6. And I would say that it, it's not worth it. So I, I would say that going up some of the other learning would be better before you hit Invader 6. Finish off your troop build time, your, your troop uh, build costs. Uh, get that done before you do Invader 6. Uh, way more beneficial than trying to go straight up in Vader 6. All right, well, uh, I hope that helped out. Um, the other thing I will say, the, the best way to um, kill an invader if you don't want to use a lot of energy packs like I do is that countdown that you get, that bonus for the sustained attack, restarts every time you hit, and it lasts for one hour. So if you were really disciplined, you could set your alarm and go back and re-hit the same invader over and over again, maximizing that hour. So do it in like 55 minutes. Um, technically, that would be the best way to kill an invader. And then putting all that gear on to give you the highest uh, energy regeneration and then constantly just hitting them. Um, if you did that... For an invader five, and you did that sixteen hours, you know you'd only have to do ten more hits uh, before you went to bed. So technically, you can do an invader five every day. Invaders do not repopulate. We get one batch um, when they announce it, and that's it. So you know, first come, first serve. Again, you know, I, I'm going to kill a lot of lions that first day. You know, as soon as it's announced, uh, there isn't going to be much. All right, well, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, there'll be more to come.